WXII 12 News. This is breaking news. We start this noon hour with breaking news out of Madison. First responders are on the scene of an asphalt fire right now and officials are evacuating surrounding residents, blocking off roads. They're going to get right to our Maria DeBone, who is live there at the scene. Maria, what are you seeing at this hour? Well, we're about a quarter of a mile from Sealmaster plant on West Decatur Street where the fire is and officials have us pretty far back and they have evacuated every resident and business within 1000 feet of the plant. Now, Madison Fire Department Chief Jim Ritchie said this all started at 552 when crews were dispatched to a reported building fire, which turned out to be an outside storage tank full of thousands of gallons of liquid asphalt on fire. The regional hazmat team is on scene and officials say it's an inhalation hazard and could cause respiratory problems. Now, Chief Ritchie said it's in it's a 17,000 tank and they can't tell how much of it is on fire. And he said they tried to put Purple K, a dry chemical fire suppressant on it, but officials said that was ineffective. So now they're looking at other options. Right now it is semi stable, but it is increasing in temperature, which we are trying to figure out why. We've been on the phone with the people that make the product out of Canada and the safety people out of Canada that are in the product, and they are giving us advice on whether to put foam on it, what to put on it to contain it, and try to cool it. And we're trying to figure out where the heat source that is continuing to keep it melt. It's like lava. It gets, as cooler it gets, the harder it's supposed to get. But it is not doing that, and that's what we're trying to figure out. And Chief Ritchie said they're now trying to figure out if it's going to explode or just leak out. So they have drones in the air monitoring and have crews going in and out monitoring the product. Jackie. Maria, I want to get back to something you said towards the top. Residents within 1000 feet are being evacuated. Really anyone in that area. Is there any indication that will be expanded? Well, Jackie, officials said everybody within a half mile radius of the plant is being told to shelter in place, and that includes the Dillard Academy School. But officials said they are ready to evacuate more of a distance if needed. In Madison today, Maria DeBone, WXII 12 News. Maria, thank you. We'll continue to check in with you as the day goes on. And we will continue, of course, to follow this developing story throughout our newscast. A reminder, when we are off the air, you can always find the latest updates on our website, WXII12.com.